Hi, we're here at uh, Brandon Food Truck Wars, the first annual event. We decided to come here, interview the food trucks, interview some of the patrons, and let's see uh, all the good food that's here. Hi, I'm here with Jay from Smoked and Sauce Mobile Barbecue, and we're here at Food Truck Wars in Brandon, Manitoba. Uh, how long have you been in the food truck industry? Uh, we actually, this is our very first event in the food truck industry. We, uh, we have a wealth of experience in the kitchen, but uh, this is our very first event and we're pretty excited for it. So. Nice, that's awesome. And what, what made you decide to uh, get into the food truck industry? We all just have a, a passion for cooking, a passion for barbecue cooking. We uh, love smoking food, so we just decided to pool it all together and bring it here tonight. And if there was one item on your menu, what would you recommend for everybody? I would recommend the pulled pork. I'm a big pulled pork fan, so uh, it's uh, cooked for probably 20 hours. We slow roasted it, smoked it for probably 20 hours, so it's going, going good. Nice, that sounds delicious and I can't wait to try it. I'm here with Frank from Tamale Time from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And Frank, how long have you been in the food truck business? Uh, we've been in business since May, so this is our first year. It's been going really well. We've done uh, events all through Winnipeg. This is our first time in Brandon and we're really excited to be here. Awesome, and uh, what made you get into the food truck business? Um, I've done some cooking in the past and this is, uh, I'm from El Salvador, we're doing Salvadorian food so it's really close to home. I wanted to showcase our food for the people of Manitoba. Awesome, it smells delicious. Uh, if there was one thing on your menu that you would recommend to people, uh, what would it be? It would be the tamales, that's, uh, that's our signature dish. It's uh, what we named our business after and they're delicious and presented super well. I think Brandon would enjoy it. Awesome, well I can't wait to try it. Thank you Frank. So what did you have today? I had a chicken tamale. And how is it? Yeah, it was very good. It's from tamale time. It was great. And Just what? Great. And what do you think of this event? I think this is a great event. Awesome event. Like whoever put it on should get a hats off. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Daryl Walski, one of the co-organizers of this event. Um, first things first, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I, I can't take credit for this, Trevor. We were. Um, Jody Sass and myself were partners on this. We were driving to the NHL draft in Chicago this in June, because my real job is I work as a hockey agent, so I would go in there to see some clients, and we were somewhere around the Wisconsin border, and Jody came up with the idea, and, and we thought, well, maybe it could happen, and we got a few trucks on board, and all of a sudden we had four, and all of a sudden we had six, all of a sudden we have 10, and all of a sudden we have 18, and we have a waiting list of about 15 right now that we didn't have room for. That's awesome, and like you said, it's just you and Jody, so from two of you, how long and what kind of planning, organizing, what does it take to put on an event of this magnitude? Um, you know, it, for me, I've done a lot of events. I've done events for like 25 years. So I said Jody was a little bit worried about it. And he said, oh, there's going to be a lot of things going on. I said, oh, trust me, Jody, this is nothing. This will be once. It's like a hockey tournament. I said, once the hockey tournament starts, it runs by itself. And this will be the same thing. Of course, there's going to be little bugs here and there. We have little power issues and stuff. But other than that, not much we can do about the weather. So we're all good. All right, well, thank you, Daryl, and we definitely hope to try all this food because it looks all delicious. I'm here with Mike from Mikey's D Barbecue and from Manitou, Manitoba. I was just wondering, how long have you been in the food truck industry for? This is our second year running. Yeah, last year was our first year. Okay. And what made you get into the food truck industry? I like eating meat and cooking meat. It's <laughs> perfect. Sounds like a good good combination so um, and an event like this uh, what kind of preparation do you guys like how long does it take to prepare everything and get everything ready to go well I started about Sunday night last week I started the smoker and it ran all week and uh, yeah five six days of pure hell <laughs> <laughs> awesome. and if there was one item on your menu uh, that you would recommend to people here what would it be I would have to say it would have to be the ranch fries or the Chipotle ranch fries Awesome, thank you. Thanks, thanks. And what'd you have today? I had Mikey D's barbecue. And how was it? It was delicious. 
And what do you think of this whole event with Brandon? I think it's perfect. It's great. Everybody's out enjoying the day and eating the food and everybody seems to be busy. It's great for Brandon. Hi, I'm here with Peter from Q Grill in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, we're here at Brandon Food Truck Wars. Uh, how long have you been in the food industry? Food industry? Yeah. At least 15 years. And what has made you get into the food industry? Uh, we just wanted to bring something different, unique to uh, the streets. Yeah. And uh, you guys have won People's Choice Award in Winnipeg three years in a row. Uh, what do you think it is that uh, makes people love your stuff? Um, I mean, we just, we're different right off the bat. You notice that we're a food cart, we're not a food truck. Yeah. We have original food, right? Everything's house made original, unique, put a little twist on it. Awesome, and if there was one thing on your menu that you would recommend to people to eat today, what do you think, it, what would it be? Um, if you haven't had it before, everybody just, you gotta try this spicy mayo here, Shima. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little crunchy, creamy, it's spicy. It's really good, looks good. Awesome, sounds good. Everything looks good and I'm anticipating to try it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it seems like this event is a huge success. Me personally, I've had Q Grill, I've had Mikey D's Barbecue, I've had a few others, and the weekend has just started, so I know I'll be full by the end of it.